what is up you guys welcome back to my channel and if this is your very first time here my name is Pei, and a very warm welcome to you since you're already here you can just go ahead and chill click the subscribe button and then enjoy the video that is about to unfold right now <laughs> so on today's video i'll be sharing a story with you guys and i'll also be doing my makeup so I'll be showing you how I achieved this look and if you're interested in knowing all the products that I used for this look, I will definitely link them, leave them on the description box. Actually, like, ooh, nice. so I've been actually contemplating doing this video, and I'm just like, I especially last week, I was supposed to film this video last week, but then I was feeling just so demotivated. But then I just, so I just decided to just do some workshop, and I was watching all the old videos by other um, YouTubers, and yeah, so. Today's video is gonna be about <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. Okay, my very first heartbreak. So I will be doing my makeup while I am telling you the very tragic story of how my heart first got broken. So I have started doing a different technique of eyebrows where I'm just very lazy. I know that I always tell people not to do your eyebrows with black, but Hey, hey, I just apply eyeshadow and then outline it and clean it up with concealer. Okay, so where do we start with this video? Okay, I also, I just want to start by giving you reasons why I was just off when it comes to doing this video that I have procrastinated and dragged it so long that I ended up doing it now. Did it now because, firstly, do you like know when? I actually wanted to film this video at work because they like everyone already knows that I'm crazy so when I come back and just come to work and just show up with my camera and be like hi guys I'm filming it's gonna be normal but when you're staying with someone at home it can get very weird when you're sharing your stories and they can listen into that so I didn't want that I don't know if my explanation makes sense and quite frankly <laughs> I don't care but anyway so uh, let's begin with the story so i met this guy when i was what, i think 12 or something like that 12 or 13. we we knew each other because we went to the same school to the same primary school so i would see him and i'd say okay i'm just like guy like i was a grade higher than him and yeah we were just like we never really spoke, but I knew his friends because I went to class with some of his friends. And I actually dated one of his friends. Anyway, so as years went by, he, start, he started training to be a lifeguard. That's fine. So we're, um, we're having a summer holiday with the family. And then we go to the beach. And then there he is. I'm all shaking. Actually, I'm, I'm shy because the guy is zero. The guy, that guy was cute, shit. But anyway, so it was very embarrassing, like, the first encounter we had together because I was swimming in a kiddie's pool and, I was, and he knew that I was older than 12 years. So, like, the first time that he had to come and talk to me was to tell me that I have to get out of the swimming pool because I'm too old for it. And then, that was that. And then, like, fast forward about two years later, I was in grade 8 and... He went to another school like outside of the township and then he was like <laughs> I was like okay um, it was this very rainy day uh, so do you know in summer how in Durban or I don't know if maybe in Lampopo this also happens or in other provinces but you get mangoes that's it's harvesting time for mangoes so I have this habit of eating um, raw mangoes and eating them with no rocks. So that's what I was doing. I was walking with my sister out and and then I was walking, we were walking. And as I'm walking by the post office by my like my township, 
I see this guy from a distance and he's walking with like I think two other guys and he never walked in packs he always used to walk with like one guy or two guys like he was that's also what I liked about him so he was walking and then I was like that's my future man's and then I threw my mango <laughs> I threw it away and it, I had only beaten it like twice and I threw it away I took my grandma's no rocks and I put it in my pocket and then I was like okay act normal girl cause your man is here so anyway he does call me catches the vibe that like I'm trying to vibe with him and then he's like hey can I please talk to you yeah this type of stuff so I just remembered something there's another reason why like it took me so long to do story times if you guys remember when i started this channel i i did say that i did mention that when i feel more comfortable or like when i get a better phone and camera quality and gadgets i would start doing um chit chat get ready with me and story times so this is the time each anyway so this guy calls me and then i go to him i'm acting all shy and cute and innocent and then we talk and then he's like i'm trying to be your boyfriend and back then i didn't have a phone so it was just a matter of i'll see you next week or i'll see you after school or whatever but it was just hectic so i agreed to see him and then we were dating for like it was just random we would date each other when we would see when we like come across each other it wasn't a constant thing of him getting out of his way to come and see me so yeah that was that and then it was fun like that the relationship at the beginning it was very childish it was just childish yeah boy that re those relationships that require proof if you if you know what i'm saying so we were dating a proof and then there came a time where we were both like starting to become more mature like i think it was in grade 10 grade nine or something like that and then we started being like we started officiating our relationship like okay space dating okay what are we gonna call him um let's call him einstein because he was very smart also so so einstein okay we're dating now like it's a serious relationship like we're two school kids like high school kids who are really dating each other and then he would come and see me whenever he wasn't going to school and he had to go to work because he was already working he was working by 13 by the way he would come and see me he was going for training lifeguard training and then we just walk like he was the bravest thing i've ever known he would come to my house and come and get me like he's the first boy that i introduced to jay kai okay. and then time went on like we went to matric and then that's when our relationship got like serious well according to me that's what i thought i thought that our relationship was very serious and then i finished matric and he was still in grade 11 because i did mention that he was a grade behind so after i'm done with my matric i had to move away for further studies obviously and we still maintained contacts and stuff like that like but then it wasn't the same because like i mean it was one-sided it was starting to be one-sided so i would text him and then he'd be like i'm so busy we had, we had um, extra lessons i'm like dude how can you be busy again someone who's in college suspicious but i was very naive and i just overlooked it and then months went on we were dating and then i can't remember which month it was but i think it was like around march or something like that he um so there's this other guy so this other guy is my my brothers my older brothers um okay wait where do i start this part so i had a best friend there was three um of my friends there was three of us in my group it was me my one best friend what are we gonna name? we're gonna name her smile 
because she always used to smile and then my other best friend we're just a group of three and then we can call this one princess yeah princess because she, she always looked like the princess she was always so sweet and the people thought she was naive and we also we were just fooled by the whole thing so we we're just friends and then this girl this other girl oh princess so she's like guys i found a boyfriend and you guys might be wondering what does the story have to do with um weinstein so i'll get to it so this guy um this girl princess she finds a boyfriend eh? then she's like um guys i'm just so weird by this guy um his name is and then she says this name so like i'm naive but then it turns out like I, I i'm not sure who this guy is so we're gonna give him a name as well let's call him <laughs> let's call him skotan because he always used to dress like okay he still even dresses like his skotan so as i'm dating this guy hello skotan and i'm like okay like i can't recognize the name his real name because you know as township kids we, you like you end up in, forgetting what a person's real name is because we just use their nickname so often so she tells me that um, I'm dating this guy he's so sweet and I would hear rumors because we were in separate classrooms I would hear rumors that um, um, Scott Honey was at the gate and she brought uh, and he brought snacks for princess it was just so so dope it was cool at the time but then I it was just i was so confused i was lost like i didn't know who this person was and then as time went on i finally figured out that this kotani guy is actually my brother's friend and we all grew up together like we were playing playstation together they would come over to my house and they would stay for long hours I, so i'm like because i know my brother's friends and i know the things that they talk about when they when they come to visit him I'm like girl do you know what you're putting yourself into because this boy is a player and then she's like no he's not a player he's very sweet da, 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 da. she's like head over tits for this guy but anyway life goes on and then um i find out that like i don't know if we actually confirm that's okay they're dating and then i see this one um, um, who was Kotan? I see him walking with his other friends. Like I think they were on their way to my to my house. And then I'm like, why are you denying Bubuti your dating with princess? Because he was. I found out rumors with his date. He's denying dating with princess. So I'm like, why are you denying dating with Mimi Duan? Because like she's boasting about your school. She's bragging and everything. And whenever I tell her how toxic you are, she, I always look like a bad guy. And then he's like, huh, what are you talking about? I'm like, and then he's like, princess who? Who even is that? And then I'm just like, men. And so um, time goes on. And then fast forward that year, we're in December, festive season. So... Skotani starts switching it up. He is now hitting on me. So I'm um okay, I'm fast forwarding it too fast. So this one time I was walking home from a late um study session. I was in the trick. Princess was in grade eleven because she had failed the grade. And then I come home, but as like as I get to my house, I'm like two minutes from my house, I see um I see Kotani working with this other friend of ours. So I'm like, okay guys, since we're all going to the same direction, let's just go together. And then as we're walking, um, Kotani's phone rings. Guess who is calling? It? Yep, you guessed it. It's the princess. She is calling. And then the guy is like, ah, your friend is so annoying. Can you please take this call? And then my naive self is not thinking how um, princess would like see this or this whole situation as me picking up his her, boy, her boyfriend's phone so i just pick it up and i'm like hey girl what's up and then she's like oh I'm, and then i'm like hey girl it's pay what's up um scotani just gave me his phone like 
yeah, yeah. And, like I didn't even know how to explain it. And then she was like, Oh, where is he? And then I'm like, No, we're here in my house, just hanging out. And then she's like, No, okay. And then she hung up. And then I had to leave and go and study after my matric. I had to go leave my hometown and then go to Durban. And then okay, but before I left for Durban. That December, okay, guys, I know I suck at telling stories, but you're gonna like, you're gonna gather it all like at the end. So, that December, I meet up with um, Princess and one of her friends, like from the trick. Okay, so this was before I, okay, that December before I leave to go and study. So Princess goes, like, she comes to me and then we're walking with her other friend. And then they're like, oh, you must be so happy that you got accepted to school. And we're talking, Jay. We're having very um productive conversations. And then I'm, I'm asking her, when, when last did you see um your boyfriend? And then she said, no, like, we didn't see each other. I love him so much. Like, hey, we can't even stop. Uh, Jay, it was a lot. And I was genuinely happy. And then... Like, she tries calling him just to see if she can see him before she goes home, like, to visit. Because she was originally from Eastern Cape. From the Eastern Cape. So she was just trying to see if she can see the nigga before she can go back home for the holidays. But the nigga wasn't picking up her calls. It was just hectic with this. And then, so, we wo- I walk um, Princess, like, halfway to her house. And then I go back to my house. As I was going back to my house, guess who I ran into? Exactly. And he just dropped his whole squad and he was like, Oh, hey, okay, can I please walk with you? Like, where are you even going? And then I'm like, dude, you told your girlfriend that you weren't around and she wanted to see you before she left. And now you're trying to like, and if you would go now, you would catch up to her and actually talk to her. And then he's like, nah, nah, fuck her. I'm like, <laughs> it was just escalating. And it's not like I was happy that something like that was happening to another girl. I was actually not having it, but I was just so shocked. And then, um, we walk, we walk, we walk. He walks me home and then he's, as we're walking home, he is just expressing his love for me. And I am just like... Nigga, I have a boyfriend, and you have a girlfriend, and besides that, we're like siblings, bro. We grew up together, so like I don't know what the fuck this is. And then he pretends to like understand what I'm saying, but like, I can see that he's he's not really hearing me. And then he tries, on top of all of that, he tries to go in for a kiss. Imagine, imagine. Audacity. But then, after all that, um, I go to Durban, I go and study. Then, me and my boyfriend were still good, we're great. And then, sis, like, during the time I was studying in Durban, um, and my boyfriend was still okay, well, I thought we were okay. Um, some random stuff comes up on my Facebook. And then even my other friend, Smile, is now text me, text, texting me on the side asking me if some stuff is true. And I'm like, what happened? And then when I, um, I go on my Facebook, I still don't see anything. But then my boyfriend texts me. He's like, um, Weinstein, he texts me. He's like, this, like okay, he actually sends me a screenshot of a whole paragraph about how about how I was sleeping with um Scotan. That time I'm a virgin and like we're just texting. We're not even talking like that. I'm still like blowing him off. Okay, I don't know if that was the correct sentence. But like I'm still like dude we can't do this. And he just sends me this whole paragraph of how um, your friend told me everything. How could you do this to me? Da, 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 da. And I'm like, what happened? What is this? And even my mom is like, uh, why would you do this to your friend? I'm like, 
even you but then she asked to find out the whole story and then when i told her she found out that this was a whole misunderstanding and i would never do that to someone but anyway um he was like um i need to think about this and i will get back to you we'll just talk about this and then i was really trying to like get in contact with everyone back home to find out what actually really happened like and i still didn't get any answers so as mr einstein sir is thinking about it he is posting his new hun we're gonna call her tb because that's what she died from i'm sorry for spoiling it mid um mid video but mm -hmm. so i'm like okay and he's right he's posting her writing cute captions i'm like hi bo what is going on there's a lot going on here so like as they're posting each other I'm like okay i guess i have lost you and then this one morning when i was making my way to college um i got the saddening text that things between him and i are over he just can't find it easy to trust me after the things that he heard Hey guys, so I'm here in the edit section. I'm just editing this video. Don't mind my crusty ass. I'm just here at work being crusty, my crusty usual self. So that wasn't just the hardest part of the breakup. This guy actually created a WhatsApp group, added his girlfriend, um, TP, and his classmates onto that group chat and also me. And then on that group chat, he broke up with me and just showed everyone that he's just done with me. And then he removed me from the group and it was all a big laugh. So yeah, I left out a lot in this story, but I hope you guys did enjoy. But that's not the end. So he dates with him girls and I'm like, but he's gives me the, this whole, um, I'm still here for you speech if you need anything. I'm like, nigga. You I need you to believe me and take me back because wow sir wow and then um months went on they were happy and I could see that her and him and TB were very happy and they were just living their best life yeah, yeah. and I was left there dangling just dangling a single fry but anyway fast forward how many years later so um after like i had to go and fetch my certificate from school around june i think so i went there in june and then it turns out that miss um princess was actually pregnant with kotana's baby so even after she found out that it, it was it, there is a possibility that i could have been sleeping with her boyfriend she still went ahead and fell pregnant for him and gave him a baby tragic tragic but anyway, um, after all of that, I went there and I just saw her and everyone was wondering why we were just so cold to each other and it was just, it was hectic. But I went to fetch my certificate and yeah, I went home. And then when I went back to college, like to Durban, um, he then hit me up, this guy now, Einstein, he hit me up, he's like, um, but you and I used to be such a good couple. Why did you have to ruin it by cheating? I'm like, so you just decided to believe everyone that I cheated on you. You just decided to go with that. Then he's like, no, I was very confused. I didn't know what to believe because you were also far. And you're fine, I've heard the Durban boys were gonna um, shell at you and take you away from me anyway. I'm like, nigga. It's because these niggas underestimate us. They don't know how loyal we are to them. But anyway, so it's like, um, um, do you want to give this another try? And then I actually found out that the truth is his girlfriend passed away from tuberculosis and he's just been looking for a rebound. But my silly self was like, oh yes, definitely. Because I hadn't found another boyfriend. So I was like, yes. I still love you and I still think that we can give it another try. Da 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 da, my dumb self. And then we give it another try. So, but it was like very weak. We were trying, we were trying like a lot. We would see each other even on holidays because we were still back home. So, whenever we get the chance, we would just see each other and then pick up where we left off. 
and then it was time for him to now go to university and when immediately when he went there he found a girlfriend and this girl had a child and a baby daddy <laughs> so he did me he did me wrong again so he was like um i don't think that things can work out because um i found a girlfriend now and i really love her so i was like okay it was much easier to accept the second breakup because hey we've been here before so yeah so i let him date i let him be his own self and he looked very happy and then fast forward a few months into that relationship he's now texting me again because we had we just decided to become friends because i was done with that bitter shit like that bitter ex shit i was over it and i was like okay let's be friends because there's no point in like hating someone if it's not gonna benefit you in any way there's no point in hating someone clapped so we were, be, we were friends and then as we were friends i could see that re- his relationship and he was actually just doing just fine he was happy and his school was fine and the problem with this guy he liked to show off his successes he liked to show off his journeys and stuff like that he underestimates the power of, of witchcraft and i always tell him that even to this day but anyway so we're still friends we're talking and sometimes we're arranging um meeting me yeah we're still arranging on like having i don't know hangout sessions together i don't know what that was i think it's just because i was still whipped by the nigga anyway um he then breaks up with this girl the reason why i broke up with this girl is because she decided to go back to baby daddy and then i was like i told you so I didn't feel an ounce of remorse. Okay, let me do this off camera because I can't talk and cut my crease at the same time. Okay, I'm done. So what I'm realizing is that actually come to think of it the whole time that I was dating this boy I was just hella depressed I was I was so depressed I was constantly just crying hating my family I was disappearing like it was a lot but in the end like after Mugellings left and went back to the baby daddy He's now reaching out to me again. He's like, um, can we please just fix things? And at this point, I've moved to Joburg and I've just been that girl. I've moved to Joburg to further my studies and I'm just that girl, if you know what I'm saying. I am not touchable. So, whatever he's saying, I'm not even listening to it. I'm like, oh, you're back again with your old nonsense. What did they do this time? And he's like, no, what do you mean? What did they do this time? You know that you've always been my day one. I've always loved you. And I'm like, please cut the crap. Because I know the only way you would want me is if, is if someone else ditched you. So I'm always your rebound. Your trophy girlfriend. Because we were both very academically smart. And people... My friends and his friends knew about that and they were just very proud of like they adored us as a couple. And then I was like, I'm not half doing that anymore. Who is life and I'm going to find myself. By the way, I am in Joburg, so yeah, nothing you can do or say or do anything really to change my mind. And then he finally realized that no man, I'm never gonna get this hand back. So he just asked us like to stay friends and stuff like that and then i was like okay absolutely there is no problem with that you be a friend and then i found myself to be like in this really nice relationship i was really happy and then boom blocked he blocked me because i guess sir was tired of seeing me happy and i guess he couldn't 
take like take in what he was dishing out this whole time of just constantly making me feel like shit and showing me that he's happy with someone else I'm loving what this palette is giving by the way if you guys want me to plug you I'll leave, I will definitely leave, leave all the products that I'm using on the, on the description box so definitely click the description box to find out what I'm using and so now he is okay so he then also finished his studies and then he moved up to Joburg for what I have no idea but I think he was also going to pursue his academics and then he found a girlfriend and I think he is still with the girlfriend right now and yeah he seems to be happy but he's still hitting up every once in a while like hey what are you up to whenever he sees me posting something really dope like happening in my life he's always trying to come back and be like hey you know that i still care Jay, all that nonsense i'm like hi bro this guy he looks like he's in a happy relationship he's buying his girlfriend um necklaces and things and i'm like oh shame he's really like doing well in life but apparently not because if you're doing well in life you wouldn't be chasing after your ex yeah then that is the whole story time i know this was a very terrible one like i don't but you guys will let me know how you felt about the story please leave any questions comments anything so yeah that's it that's it for the story so now i'm just gonna finish up this makeup look and then get the fuck out of here oh i also forgot to mention something you guys how could i forget such a big deal so the other day on when was it on i usually post on thursday so on friday i woke up to just amazement you guys are so good to me like thank you so much i woke up to 41 subscribers and right now so i woke up to 41 subscribers yesterday on friday today is saturday and i'm at 43 already we this road to 100 subs is just this choo choo train is gonna get to the station real quick i think by december i'm gonna reach my goal my target thank you guys so much i appreciate it so much I, um last week i was feeling so demotivated i had mentioned this already but then um i i had set up my station my everything i set up my phone my tripod my ring lights but then i was just feeling so demotivated and then i thought that i actually put it away i put all the equipment away i packed it into my, its bags and stuff like that and i was like I'm not filming today because I'm not feeling it. I felt demotivated and then I started doing workshops where I watch other YouTubes just to get other YouTube channels just to get like encouragement to get ideas on what I can improve on my channel. And I just uploaded the video as soon as I could. And then the response that I got, you guys are just amazing and I, I can't express how much like your comments mean to me, your shares, your likes. <laughs> I'm very grateful for you guys. And when my channel goes big or gets better or whatever, I'm gonna stop doing giveaways because it is something that I've been thinking about. Like doing giveaways, um, just gifting you guys to show you my appreciation. Basically, yeah. So, this is also something that I like to use, my go-to palette, my go-to blusher and um, highlight palette. So, I really like this so much. I got it for like 65 cent clicks. I know I've talked about it on my channel before. If you haven't heard about it, you are new. You are new, honey. And you need to check some of my videos to get in with the program. Okay, today's video is just... I'm a bit offish. I was also feeling a bit demotivated. And then I was like, okay, you promised yourself you would do this today because people are very supporting you. They are really supporting you. And you just need to be more committed to them. Yeah, 
just gonna do eyeliner. I don't think I'm gonna do lashes today. today because I'm not at my house and I forgot my lashes at home so it's not any particular special reason it's just that I'm a dumbass sometimes so yeah I don't even like I forgot who I was so yeah I'm gonna just kill this demotivation bug that is going around yo guys I don't know if like some people will tell you the truth but it is so uh, like it's so exhausting to talk but i have learned to um to, uh, to fight that feeling that demotivated that demotivation feeling because also my job requires me to talk a lot and then also when you're in a room just by yourself talking to a camera or a phone that's even harder so like it takes out a lot from people to just film content so it gets very easy to get demotivated so yeah i don't even know why i'm saying that but like at this point i'm just rambling i'm just rambling and i'm realizing that I, okay i'll be back <laughs> so i also realized that i forgot to pack some lipstick you know these vacation type of things I forgot to pack lipstick so i'm just gonna apply lip therapy for my lips to be hydrated then we're out of here but then again, this is the end product, guys. This is what the final look is. And we're on per. So you let me know how you guys feel about this video on the comment section. And then let me know if I suck at story times and I should just stop. Or if you want me to get more practice. And yeah. If you like story times or you want to know other things about my life. Oh, I think I'm out of lip therapy. Okay, now we still got a year's worth of lip therapy. That's okay. Let me tell you something, guys. Yesterday I was exfoliating my lips, and who knew that a towel could be so harsh? Because I was literally just scrubbing my lips with my towel, my face towel. And it peeled off like a layer of my skin. It was so terrible. And I had like a thousand hot wings that I couldn't eat. But I decided to eat anyway and suffer through the pain. Because I love me some hot wings. But anyway guys, this is the finished look. I am missing some mascara, lashes and lipstick. But let us not get into that. I mean, sis is just going through a lot right now. So if you guys really like this video, um, I have been saying... Please click the thumbs up button and then you can subscribe to my channel and then you can add yourself into the family and just be one of us if you haven't. And then if you already have, you can just share this video with your friends so that we can grow the channel even more and then you guys can get giveaways. So yeah, that is it guys. I'll see you on the next one. I hope you liked this look. Bye. Today's video was actually just contemplated. <laughs>